After two weeks of snow as I made my last two videos, I didn't have any hope to see any snow until next year or maybe two or three years. One week ago we started to read in the news that a heavy snowstorm that haven't happened in Germany since 1970s is so expected. I was actually so excited like a small kid waiting for the birthday gift. I wanted obviously to go out in these two days but the problem is that mobility was totally impossible. And on the other hand, the heavily falling snow will be dangerous for my gear. Hello everyone, so the first thing I want to do before I start making anything, but I'm making video actually. The first thing is that I want to get rid of my bike. The situation is so hard and I will continue. I prefer to continue on my feet because it's so hard and I can't walk and take my bike with me. The situation is so hard, the snow is so heavy and it started again to snow a little bit. So let's find a place to get rid of my bike and after that I will continue. So now after getting rid of my bike, I can finally walk freely. The situation is really so hard and the snow where uh, there's a lot of fresh snow where there's still no one uh, step on it, which I like actually. So as I said at the beginning of the video in, in the news, they said that a snowstorm like this haven't ever happened since 1973 if i'm not forgetting that 73 or 72 to be honest with you i saw something like that in my country in syria there's a lot of you know mountains areas where uh, we, we used to see a very heavy snow on that area but here in saxony the case is not like that because it's not a mountain area maybe this is the, the reason this is a normal area and not a mountain area. So now I am on my, on my way to the small woodland area with, uh, which I used to go there. I don't know how the place is there. Can I go inside or not? I will go there and I will show you if there's any, any way to get inside this small woodland area. So the thing that I'm planning to try today, or the photo that I'm blank, planning to try with my Al Sigma ultra wide angle lens, it is actually a very repeated photo, but I haven't made it before. I want to try to find a place to put my foot, feet prints and to have my feet prints like, you know, a foreground and the background would be something interesting, a, a big tree or bunch of trees or something like that. So. I'm thinking about trying to make that with this big tree here. I will try to put my feet prints here and to have this tree here on the background. So I will try to do that and I'm not sure actually if the photo will work as I want. But I will try to make a big part of the photo like 230 for the foreground which is my feet prints. And the last third part of the photo I will try to make it the background so that I will not give a big space to the sky or I will try to not show the sky at all. After I tried a lot, I found that the composition won't work. There's actually no background. The tree itself is so normal and not interesting enough. So better than wasting more time, 
I decided to give up and to start searching for something else. So that place is just didn't work. The competition was horrible and there's a lot of distractions and I was pretty sure I will not like the photo. I continue walking and I found this place here. What I like here is there's no sky at all. The trees are heavy and there were, I will do like that. There were actually uh, a dog feet prints. So I walked on that dog feet prints to make it my own feet prints. So as you can see, the photo will be somehow exactly like that. As I said, I gave 230 of the photo for my feet prints and the last third of the photo will be for the trees. I will make focus tag. The first photo I will focus something like here or on the tree. The second photo I will focus on this feet prints and the first one or the last photo I will focus exactly on the beginning of the photo. You say that you're sorry. We turn the page and make up a broken trust. So this is another photo I'm trying to take here. I am going actually now to 20 millimeters because if I want to take the photo at 10 millimeter, it will be so, it will be, there's a lot of distractions actually. And the main reason of taking this photo is just, I like the branch here, which are on the ground and a little bit of the snow here, which is on the branch. And if I want to take the photo like that, as I said, there will be a lot of distractions and this is not the main the main subject or the main thing of taking this photo. And on the other side, I like actually, as you can see, there's a lot of light or not a lot of light. Actually, there's some light coming from the top of the photo and I will try to make it more visible using radial filter in on Photoshop. So I am going to F11. Uh, one ten of the second is it started to snow or I think the snow from the trees is coming on uh, is falling on my face because of the wind so as I said F11 one ten of the second ISO 100 without focus stack or anything I will just focus on this tree here and no filter so easily So here are all the photos that I made today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you like the photos. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure actually if there will be any snow videos in the future. As I said the last, uh, the last video, I don't think there will be any snowstorm or any snow in the coming days because we are in the middle of February right now and I don't think there will be any snow in the future in, in, in March or yeah you know so thanks again for watching this video please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video bye